How's it going, guys? Clutch here once again. Just cleaning up the farm. Uh, just trying to put some bales back. Finally, I've had a little bit of time here to uh, let's shove this out of the way a bit. Come on. To uh, kind of clean up our little mess we had out here. I've got so much straw. I don't need this much straw right now, but um, yeah, we've got enough to last us quite a bit of time here. So we're not going to worry about making straw anytime soon. Perfect. So we will pack all this away. Ah, uh, what do we got going on today? Well, there's a couple of things. Oh, ouch. That I want to take care of. Um, you know what? I want to try and see if we can sell some of the poo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I want to, I'm not really sure exactly how that's going to work yet. So uh, I do need to come up with a solution for that. And it seems like be something fun to do. Yeah, I know. Poo. Fun to do. It rhymes. It's funny. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> so I'm going to pack all this away. I do need to do one more thing. I think we need to give actually some more straw to the horses. I think I noticed this, the, the horses were a little low on the straw department, but you know what? I got lots of straw. And by lots, I mean lots. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I just have way too much of this stuff. It's funny how much you can make when, uh, yeah, if you put that swath on. That thing just makes tons and tons and tons of straw bales. Um, so I don't... Oh, they're just not worth that much to sell either. I mean, uh, well, I guess you can get, what, 4000 5000 bucks for... What are we going to sell in 12 of these? Or uh, 16 of these at a time? So I guess it's it's kind of worthwhile, but it's a lot of work for what you get out of it. Anyways. Um, ooh, I'm pretty sure this one... Oh, I missed it. I missed it. A little bit sideways, that'll be fine. I can get it on there. I think I can get it on. Oh, oh. All right. No! Come on, you know you want it. Come on. Ah, oh, loser. Anyways, um, we'll take care of that right away, guys. We're going to go and see what we can figure out for the, uh, the poo. But that should be fun, so we'll get on that. I'll see you guys in two seconds. Bitter powder. Clutch simulations. Alright, so like I said, I want to be able to sell some slurry and manure. So there's a couple things we're going to need. Um, we need to be able to transport the slurry. And that's a bit of an interesting one. Um, let's go get the uh, slurry tank. So there's only seems to be one option for that, uh, for, for actually transporting slurry to sell. Everything else says it's only for actually uh, spreading slurry. And I don't want to do that. I want to transport. And uh, since we're just kind of getting the ball rolling here, I figured I'd go big and uh, we decided to buy a truck as well. So we got our slurry tank and the truck. Now, let's see, I'll park this over here for the time being. So let's go into the shop and take a quick look what we've got here since uh, I was talking about it. Um, so the slurry tanks. So you can see the very start here, the grand stuff is all slurry spreaders. Now I don't believe you can dump those. So I had to go all the way up here to this slurry tank transport. So. I believe this is the only one that will work in this manner. Everything else is all transport or um, spreader, sorry. So I could be wrong on this, but I don't believe anything else could be used to transport the slurry. So I had to buy the big one. Unfortunately, we don't, I think we don't have 8,000 liters. We'll see. I don't know how much we have of that, but we don't have eight, that much. There's no way. Um, and as well, then we got this classic W900 Kenny. Oh, I love this mod. Looks great. Good looking truck. Um, we'll hook this up right now. A little bit of dry steer there. You know me and my old trucks, guys. When it comes to farm sim, <laughs> I always go with the oldest trucks I can possibly find instead of the new ones. Uh, this thing is good looking though. Love it. All right, so let's see how she handles that. So we're gonna take this back, but we're also going to need a little something else too. Um, I need to get an implement that's going to allow us to pick up the uh, manure. Now, I thought about doing a belt system, 
so that would be okay. Um, but to start with, I think I'm just going to go with the uh, the forks that allow us to pick up uh, silage and manure. So we'll give that a shot and see how that works. And just use our small little tipper and use it in that manner for the time being, at least. I'm gonna go park this right back there for now. But uh, so we'll see how this all turns out. I'm sure it'll be good. It can't be that bad, right? <laughs> Uh, well, we've got lots of storage for this stuff, and now we've got a rig that we can use to uh, move our silage and various other things, uh, crops and stuff. We should have found a bigger tipper now. But, oh, I didn't see that bump. That was a little bit bigger than I thought. Yikes, come on. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Totally forgot about that bump. <laughs> I'm destroying my stuff. Come on, get over this way. Come this way, go like that. You hit it at a side angle, you're okay. All right. So, we, like I said, we don't have a lot of manure there. That ah, should be okay. Now let's see what we got for slurry. Oops. Slurry. Ooh, got nine thousand liters. That's actually quite a bit. All right. So we're gonna fill that full. I'm gonna head back over and um, see if we can pick up the other implements. So we can start gathering all the manure. Ooh, stinky, stinky, stinky. All right, I'm back in a bit. All right, so we've got our, uh, what is it, silage? No, manure fork. We're just gonna borrow their, their tractor. Um, yeah, come on, let's go. And we will throw that up on our flat deck. Yeah, so this, we'll see. I was trying to hook it up with that forklift. As you can see, there's a lot of tracks around here. The forklift doesn't work. I would advise using the forklift to try to pick up a tool. <laughs> it works fine for any kind of pallets, but, um, yeah, even if you manage to finagle it so it kind of gets up there, it just wants to fall off again. So anytime you get close, it just falls off. So, anyways, it was nice of the shop to give us a, uh, a tractor to borrow for a couple minutes here. <laughs> All right, so we'll put this just right there. Come on. Thank you. That should be fine. We'll be able to strap that down. We'll put this back away in the shop just in case we need it again sometime in the near future. Who knows? That can stay there. Excellent. And we will strap this down. Um, I hope some of these straps do something. Doesn't look like it's really doing much. Hopefully it stays. All right. Oh, yeah, okay, we're gonna have to take it easy. Let's see, does any of the back ones work now? No, there's no other back ones on this. That's too bad. Yeah, it's just the fronts. Oh, let's see if I can jam this forward. Yeah, it does not work. The straps do not want to hold the implement in place. Okay, well, that's good to know. We'll just take her easy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, signal on. Nice. All right, so... We should be good now. We should be good. Um, we're not going to get that much. I mean, we had 9,000 liters of slurry. So that's not bad. I have no idea what, what it's worth, to be perfectly honest. Now, I believe I need to purchase the uh, area that um, it comes from, so we might have to take out some more money, unfortunately. I think we were almost debt-free again. I keep on going up. Every time I sell horses, I get pretty close, and then, uh, yeah, that happens. I end up buying stuff that I don't need. <laughs> so, uh, oops, wrong way. Where are they? Right up there. Where's he going? Oh, okay. So I'll just put this up here. Um, we're gonna go get the other tractor we're gonna need, and we need to get a tipper over here. I think I can just hook the tipper up to this truck. It should be able to handle it. So I'll uh, grab the tractor first, then uh, we'll get the tipper deal dealt with later on. So I'll run over there and grab that tractor. I'll see you guys right away. All right, so we've got our tipper right here. This truck will definitely be able to handle this. I forgot about that. I forgot which tipper we had, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, let's zip through here. And we'll park it right over here. Now, let's see if we can load this up with some, uh, some manure. Uh, I'd rather be facing the other way. Otherwise, I'm going to have to fight with that silly tarp that's on this thing. And that's just a pain. Uh, Alright. Uh, leave it right there for now, I suppose. Good enough. All right, let's see how this is going to work. Hopefully it should be fairly straightforward, right? 
Wow, okay. We got a lot to load up, guys. <laughs> maybe I should have gone with the other method. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Alright, so we've got some loading to do. Let's, uh, let's go with Speedy. We'll speed this up, and I'll see you guys shortly. Alright, let's go. So we are full, 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 full. Let's see if I can just clean up some of the extra manure I dropped everywhere here. Rather not have it stinking the whole blaze up. Perfect. Um, yeah, so we got full. The tipper is full. We still have a little bit left over. Uh, yeah, this is a lot of work to do it this way. It's, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, I guess. But if I had a bigger trailer to do that to, that would be a little bit too much. That is for sure. All right, so we're going to start heading our waking our way down to uh, the biogas. Biogas plant, I believe, is where that is. And that area, yeah, it's kind of up in the north uh, northwest there. So that's where we're going to be heading up into that section. And uh, we'll see where we're up to sell with this. Now, like I said, I heard a rumor that we do need to... Uh, I should be able to close this, right? There we go. That we should be able to, uh, or we need to buy that plant in order for it to sell to us, if that makes any sense. Um, where do I go on here? I'll go this way. It doesn't really make sense to me, but we're going to try to sell without buying it. And then, oops. And then uh, if that doesn't work, we will buy it, I suppose. I mean, if that's what has to happen, that's what has to happen. So, we're going to head over that way. Um, oof, 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 oof. <laughs> that road. Um, we'll see how we make out. Uh, and I will meet you guys over there. All right, let's go. All right, we've got our, uh, what is it? The manure's dropped off. We've got our slurry. Get your slurry. Get your slurry here. We are heading back with the slurry. Oh, yeah. Lots of slurry. <laughs> um, yeah, so it doesn't look like we can drop it off. I'm pretty sure we'll have to buy the biogas plant. Now, uh, I've taken out a loan already, you can see. I've got 140, I think it's 141000 to purchase it. Once again, I'm back to about $200,000 in debt. <laughs> I'll have to sell more horses tomorrow morning. Uh, it never ends with the horses. Oh, well, it's a good thing I've got them going because that is my saving grace right now. Um, I would be so poor and broke, I wouldn't be able to do any of this. Now, I wonder what, wow. I mean, we, don't, we only have, what, a fifth of a tank of this? So, uh, let's be honest, I'm not going to get that much money out of this. Uh, the manure, it's a small tipper, but I mean, it's a full tipper, so I don't know if we can get a little bit of money for that. I have absolutely no clue what the value of slurry and manure is. So, um, we're going to find out together, I guess. Oh, and that's the other thing, actually. I did forget about that. Uh, we don't get paid till midnight because it's the biogas plant. That is right, so we are not going to find out. <laughs> I'll have to tell you next time. We're not going to get there today. There's no way. Ah, uh, see, why would they do that? I liked it so much better when you got paid right away. <laughs> All right, so here is the biogas plant now. Uh, I'll go on the other entrance. And we'll come around the back side that way. There's an ATM there. And we'll just back in uh, once we finish off a tip in the tipper. Tip in the tipper? Yeah, tip in the tipper. You can see I've circled around a couple of times just to make sure I wasn't missing it. All right. Oh. All right. So let's go take a look here. So this is definitely where we're gonna, we want to put it. Um, I don't have an option to offload. Let me double check the controls. Tip uh, right side. Tip left side. No difference. So I definitely should be able to tip this right now. Let's uh, let's find out what happens when we purchase. All right, so, uh, lands, biogas plant, buy, yes. Okay. Oh, look at that. Now we can tip it. Boom, overload it, and there she goes. So like I said, we are not going to get paid until midnight for this manure we're dropping off in slurry, unfortunately. That's unfortunate, but um, it's better than nothing, I suppose. All right, so let's move this out of the way. Alright, we'll run over here. 
And we will tip this. Oops. Come on, start up, buddy. There we go. So this is only yeah, 9,000 liters. I thought it was going to be more than that, but... Ah, this is a big tank. <laughs> and overload, because we don't need that anymore. Now I'm surprised because the slurry isn't making our numbers go up at all. So where does that go, and why does that have to wait till midnight to get paid out as well? That's kind of annoying. <laughs> Anyways, I'll take the paycheck when we get it, I suppose. Uh, yeah, what do you do? Anyways, uh, let's head back over. I'll see you guys back at the farm, or the horse ranch, or whatever you want to call it. We'll see you back there. Well, we were just going to get ready to pack up for the day, and wouldn't you know it, the weeds came. <laughs> uh, these sunflowers we planted last time, look at the weeds coming up. So I'm going to get on that right away before we get some growth and have to spray. It's cheap, so much cheaper just to do it with the um, the weed puller part, right? They, I don't even know what you want to call it, the weeder, instead of having to spray with any kind of pesticide or uh, the herbicide stuff. Uh, we'll leave this here. We need to fertilize a second time that field as well. Um, I don't know when we're going to get a chance to do that. We're a bit here. Let's see. Now, where is my weeder is the question. There it is. You know what? We haven't really had a chance to play with that too much. Last time we tried to use this, uh, the weeds beat us. <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't know if you remember that or not, but um, we thought we could use it and the weeds had already gone into stage two and we were not able to use it so i was rather disappointed and ended up being a waste of purchase so i think we went and did a contract job with it instead just to play with it <laughs> uh, this should be a fun ride that's not so bad that's not so bad all right so we gotta take care of all these little weeds. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world, I suppose, but uh, especially when we got a nice big weeder like this. This one's good. Uh, let's see. All right, end game all. Over it a little bit more. There we go. Awesome. All right, let's get rid of those. I do love doing the weeds. I enjoy the weeding part of it. It's just sometimes it, it's a bit much. It seems like, wow, well, between the fact we've got to deal with weeds now, we also have to deal with lime um, somewhat regularly. Uh, there just seems to be a lot of things going on. Uh, not that I'm complaining, but I'm curious to see how that's going to work with seasons, for example, when that comes out. That could be a bit tough. <laughs> Ooh, almost got some birds there. Almost got some birds. Let's see, how's that looking? That's better. Look at that. We're doing what we need to get done. No, I do like this part. Um, it's cool to be able to see the difference when you're pulling out the weeds. I was driving back from um, the, uh, the biogas plant there, and I just kind of looked over and I'm like, oh, look, yeah, we just hit first stage. Oh, no, we didn't. We actually hit first stage weeds. Yeah, great. That's okay. I'd rather make sure I notice them now than uh, when we get into harvest because we do have a ton of stuff that needs to be harvested. This field across right here, that has to be harvested right away. Uh, 17 just over there, that's corn. That's ready to almost be harvested. This field beside us, soybeans, almost ready to be harvested. We've got a lot of harvesting going on um, in the next day. <laughs> Let's be here. Um, I'm hoping I can get some help. We'll see if we can uh, find someone who's willing to give us some assistance on that in the very near future. I sure hope we can get someone to help us out with that, because it's going to be a lot of work. Uh, we've got both combines going, so we might as well see if anyone wants to give us a hand with that. But uh, yeah, it should be a good time. We've got a lot of harvesting going to be happening. It's going to be a big harvest day, so be ready for that. Anyways. Uh, what else do we got to take care of? I do need to get find a way of getting our cows some actual silage. We don't really have a great way of doing that yet, and I do not want to start buying silage. Because that is expensive, and uh, yeah, I'd much rather produce it if I can. Um, we have some fields with some grass. Maybe I'll buy a field that has a bit more to it, and uh, we can get a mower. I'd like to get that big crone, uh, what is it, the, which mower is that, the 300 series, I can't remember what it is, the mower, the big crone mower, just to, for ease of use, uh, that thing will make my life a lot easier. So I'll look at buying that probably 
Uh, maybe after the harvest, that'll be our kind of our priority there, I think. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how the horses do, I guess. <laughs> That's going to be our money maker for the time being. Uh, the cows apparently are making us do too much money between that. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens at midnight, but I'm not holding my breath on slurry and manure, that's for sure. The milk certainly wasn't worth what I was hoping it would be. Anyways, alright. So we'll finish off this here uh, field with the weeds. That eh, shouldn't take us too, too long. This is a pretty quick job. But uh, once we're done that, uh, we've got one little dot last half to do, and then we'll be calling it a day. What are we at? 7.30 or 5.30 at night? So eh, we're almost done for the day already. Not bad. Not bad day at all. Anyways, guys, I will see you back at the farm as soon as we get this all de-weeded? De-weeded. Yeah, de-weeded. See you in a bit. All right, that's it for the weeding. We are looking so good right now. I love it. Love it. Look at all of these soybeans. Oh, that's going to be a good paycheck. Um, while we got this tractor here, uh, you know what? Let's hook this up, actually, while we're right here. And I'll grab the other one quickly. Uh, I know the horses are also going to need some uh, straw. I think it's straw they're going to need. Got the, we've got the tractor here. Let's do it. We'll get this over with. Uh, yeah. Right there. Perfect. Uh, and I saw the you watch it, the uh, lint track just back here still. Hello, Mr. Cow. Let's see if we can jump, jump, jump. <laughs> Look at all the manure coming back already. We have to make another load. Craziness. Um, yeah, that's good. I like that. All right, so we'll bring this back over here. And uh, we will drop the weight again. Actually, you know what? I don't need to. I need to get a bale. That's right. Because I don't have any straw. You can see we got kind of lazy with the last couple bales there and just kind of tossed them in. <laughs> Oops, missed. Oh, I didn't change my forks out. Oh, well. These will work. These will work just fine. It's a nice thing about these, uh, a lot of the different implements. You can use, like, even, like, pallet forks or whatever if you want to lift ballot, uh, bales up. It, it is all kind of the same. Uh, it's just, some works a little bit better than others, but these actually don't work too bad at moving bales around. We'll see about, uh, releasing them. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Alright. Let's fire this bad boy up. Boom. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Alright. Horsey's getting some straw. Alright, I want to see. Can we get across our cow pen just by jumping on cows? What do you think? Is it possible? Be like Mario Brothers. <laughs> uh, can we do it? Ah. 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 Oh. It's kind of like Frogger. Oh yeah, you keep walking that direction. That's perfect. Uh, now what do I do? Uh, oh, I think I might have touched there. <laughs> oh, right into the cow butt. <laughs> uh, well, no, that's the new challenge. I think. All right, I like that. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for us today. Uh, tomorrow, like I said, we got a big harvest day coming up really quick here. Sun is setting, as you can see. Looking pretty good out here. I am happy with where we're at. Uh, oh, we got some more left over there, too. Good. But uh, that is going to really do it for us for the day. So make sure you guys check back in. Uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to get some of this harvest going on here. Of course, if you did like this video, guys, make sure you give that like button a quick little tap. Um, and, of course, if you're not a subscriber, guys, you know what to do there. Other than that, guys... I am out of here. This is Clutch. Over and out. <laughs>